What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Down to Earth with Christian Harloff. This is our daily UAP news channel where we give you the latest of what's going on in the UFO community, man. And there's a lot of news. There's always news coming. And if you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We want you guys to be part of it. And if you want to hear a full discussion every week, long form, well, that's on my other channel. And that is UAP Tuesdays. The link is also in the description for that. And you can just find a playlist here. Okay. So Danny Sheehan, he's been in the news a lot lately, man. He's uh, an attorney that's been around for a very long time and some very prominent cases. And he is one of the biggest advocates for UAP disclosure. He represents Lou Elizondo, who kind of blew up the whole uh, the case in the New York Times article. And so there were rumors, not rumors, but a lot of people thought that he uh, represented Stephen Greer. And Stephen Greer, obviously, controversial, I'd say polarizing, I think is, is a fair word. People you, you have, have takes on Greer, you either he's got some wild claims, and there is a divide between Lou Elizondo and Stephen Greer. And... They're, he, they were on this, this show today, uh, Unraveling the Universe, well, Danny Sheehan was, and they asked about this, this feud in general. And I thought it was interesting. So we're going to play this clip from Unraveling the Universe, and then we'll talk about it on the other side. Here's, here's the clip. I guess this question is kind of semi-relevant now that I know you're not, you weren't Stephen Greer's attorney directly, but I'll still ask it yeah. to you. So seeing as Luis Elizondo and Stephen Greer seem to be not so subtle about their animosity for each yeah. other, um, and this is something I've noticed as well, this this question was from Michelangelo, but again, I've, I think a lot of people have noticed that, the kind of hints from, from both of them. Mm. What was it like to kind of represent both of them on, on some level, even though you weren't representing them in the same way? Was there any kind of yeah, tension there? What was that like? Well, as, as I said, I didn't I didn't represent Stephen Greer personally. Mm. So whatever whatever Stephen's personal attitude toward Lou is, uh, or whatever Lou's attitude is toward Stephen, didn't become immediately relevant. I I told I told Stephen as soon as Lou had approached me uh, to ask me to be his attorney. Uh, I knew that there was some difference in in view between what Lou was saying. And what the disclosure project was saying, uh, and so I I told Stephen about it, uh, and that I was intending to represent Lou, uh, and uh, Stephen and I had a long conversation about it. Uh, we agreed to to not agree uh, with me representing Lou, but I went ahead to, to represent Lou, and then there came a point in time when Stephen thought that that. Uh, the activities that he was attributing to Lou, uh, mm -hmm. which I didn't believe to be accurate, uh, caused uh, him to want me to not represent Lou at all if I were going to continue to represent the the uh, disclosure project. Uh, and so uh, that was the last conversation he and I had about it. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I, I ended up getting a a letter from someone that I didn't have any idea who they were, uh, a, a, some lawyer from New Mexico somewhere, <laughs> saying that uh, he was uh, uh, authorized to instruct me that I was not uh, to present myself as the then current attorney for the disclosure project uh, if I were to continue to represent Lou Elizondo. And I didn't even bother responding to the person because I didn't know whether or not they were authorized to say that on behalf of Stephen or not, uh, and, or, or the disclosure project. So that was the sort of status of the thing. Yeah. But I've I've talked to Stephen since then. I've I went to the uh, the press conference that he had uh, in June of 2023, where he presented the uh, uh, I guess three or four. Uh, different people that from the military that who had had uh, encounters of one kind or another uh, with the phenomenon were perfectly cordial. You know, I I like Stephen. Uh, I think I think Stephen likes me. Uh, and so the pe people keep asking these kind of trailer park questions about you know uh, oh have you have you been uh, arguing with your with your friend or not? I mean I I don't I don't view that as very constructive. Yeah, okay. but but I, I'm very supportive of. Of uh, of a lot of the extremely good work that Stephen has has done and continues to do, and the same thing is true of Wood Lou, uh, yeah. you know. And and I know they have some differences in opinion, 
uh, but a, a lot of it is subjective, you know, about whether, you know, uh, lose lose uh, uh, emphasis as a national security employee uh, about that he believes there is national security questions that that need to be kept secret. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, and Stephen and the Disclosure Project are very much in favor of disclosing everything conceivable about the, the thing that those are incompatible uh positions but that that's uh that's understandable uh but i i get along with with both of them okay so that's a big thing to take in because both Stephen greer and lou alessandro are major names as we did on this channel we do a, a profile series of the players inside of this community. The two that we've done thus far, David Grush, and the second one was Lou Elizondo. Stephen Greer will definitely be one of those people because there are a lot of claims that Stephen Greer makes. And if it turns out when there is full disclosure, whenever it may be, 10, 20, 30, 300 years from now, and the stuff comes out that maybe, oh, wow, all that stuff Stephen Greer said was true, people's minds are going to be blown. Now, I don't know what to make of Stephen Greer. I'm not sure. I know that both he and Lou Elizondo are fighting for uh, disclosure, and there's beef. That's the one thing I'll tell you so far of what I've noticed uh, in this community. It seems like everybody's beefing with each other. And it's like, what? what's going on? Isn't everybody supposed to be on the same side We're trying to trying to get disclosure? I see people going after each other in the same I'm, That's not me. <laughs> I'm not here for that. I'm just here to tell you what's going on because I, I'm just some schmuck that was watching uh, National Geographic saying – what the hell's this? Oh wait, this might this is real. What the hell's going on? How, why are people why are people keeping secrets? Let us know. That's what I want to know. I'm not talking about this and that and verses and all that. Who knows? But to talk about this more, I'm going to bring in my good buddy Pavel. What's going on, Pavel? Hey, Christian. Thank you for having me, man. Of course, as always, man. So, all right, you have been. Uh, down the rabbit hole with this way longer than I have. So f- before we talk about the comments that were made here by Danny Sheehan about the uh, uh, Greer and, and Lou in general, what's the major beef between these two? Well, basically, I am also an outsider, just to uh, keep it clear. Uh, I I have been following this for a little bit longer than you, but I also consider myself an outsider because I when I arrived, I had a really visceral reaction to all of this because I, I thought that maybe I was going to get a little more answers if I got myself inserted a little bit more into the community. And then I saw everybody everybody hated each other. And I was like, what the hell is this? So uh, basically what I think is going on based on what I've seen is that Lou is making one claim based on his national security uh, uh, position mm-hmm. as, as someone in the intelligence community and the military. And Dr. Greer is making another claim just based on disclosure of the ET presence in the world. And these two ideas uh, have clashed again. And that's the gist of it in general terms. But um, what I think, though, is that uh, Danny Sheehan's testimony right here is important because of the message he gives to the people. Because if us as as newcomers come here and see all the mess that is going on, we're gonna be spooked instantly and we're just gonna move away from it. And that's not what they want either side. They right. want this to be mainstream. I think that's what they want. Well, I mean, I think I think that it, they both, everybody wants like answers, right? So like, I understand when, like I'll see, you'll see, you'll see people, the, the naysayers of the world who will, whether it's Kirkpatrick or whoever it might be, these the, the the people who are clearly against disclosure and people, and then you'll have the AARO report, you'll have the DOD report, and then you'll have people pushing against that report. And there's like these two sides. That makes sense because there's one side that's going, no, 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 nothing to see here. And the other side going, yes, yes, yes. Lots of stuff to see here. So they clash. That makes sense. When you're on the same side, and I, and I see it on the on the smaller side of things. People in the community who are on the same side going after each other, and there's back and forth. And it's like, what you're doing this for? For what? I don't I don't get it. And it's to me, it's more about the information. It's more more about telling what's going on. And it seems like that's also the position that um, that uh, right now 
Danny Sheehan is taking, and which makes sense. As he says, he represents Lou Elizondo. He's trying. He's a big advocate, obviously, for disclosure, and it is an important message. You're right. So the question, I guess, is: Will these two get on the same page at all? Ever? The answer is probably no. Lou Elizondo and um, and Greer. But what do you think? I'm guessing something must have happened between them, like behind behind the scenes, that a lot of people that are close to them have already said that it's impossible for them to get along. And that's really unfortunate because uh, the message Sheehan wants to bring here is one of unity. And I think that's what should matter to everyone who's looking for disclosure. All right, Pavel, thank you for joining us as always. And for you guys... What do you think about this? You know, the fact that Sheehan addresses this feud and what the difference is, do you think it is a setback for when the UAP community is feuding within itself? And how much does that need to stop in order for this type of fight to happen, in order for it to actually go anywhere? I think it's important. I think it's crucial. I think that the the back and forth and bickering within the, the community that's fighting for disclosure, I think that is, um, I think that's a, a bad move, but we'll see. We'll see what happens overall. I'd like to Danny Sheehan's, um, I'm supposed to talk to Danny Sheehan soon. Um, whether or not that happens this week, next week, or at all, we'll be in touch. So thanks for joining us here. If you're brand new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. We'll be part of the uh, Monday through Friday. We try to do Saturday and Sunday sometimes, but it's, it's tough Monday through Friday. I'll give you a guarantee. Weekends? I don't know, man. So thanks for joining us. I appreciate you, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.